Have you heard the term DNS, short for Domain Name System? It refers to a system of files distributed around the internet that help resolve domain names like OTT into its actual internet protocol address. This helps your computer know what server to talk to when you want to view the site. Before DNS came into being in 1984, this was done through a local file on your computer called the host file. Back then, computers weren't connected to many other computers. At most, we may have connected to a few dozen. It was easy to keep all the information in a plain old text file locally on the computer. Believe it or not, the host file lives on today. The host file allows the computer to look up other computer names, like localhost or domain names, like Helpdesk Geek, and the IP number for them is right beside the name in the file. It's a bit like how your friends' names are associated with their phone numbers in your phone. You don't need to remember or punch in the number, just find the person's name. Before we go further, it's important to understand that some IP addresses are reserved for local use. This means that they can only be used to point to your computer and devices within your immediate network. That means anything before your computer connects to the internet. For example, the IP address 127.0.0.1 always means the computer that you're working on, also known as the local host. Try typing that into your web browser and it would likely bring up a blank page. Also, you should understand that www.website.com and website.com are not the exact same thing. For both of them to take us to the same website, both must resolve to the same IP address. Here's how you can block websites with a hosts file. First, open Notepad as administrator. Then, click on File, Open. Navigate to your C drive, then the Windows folder, then System32, then Drivers, then etc. Once there, change the file type from text document to all files. Now you should be able to see the host file. Open it. Go to the last line of the page and add your own line. Let's say we're trying to block Facebook. Enter the localhost IP of 127.0.0.1. Press the tab key and then enter facebook.com. Press enter to go to the next line. Create a second line like the one above, but this time type www.facebook.com. Open the command prompt and run ping facebook.com. Then run ping www.facebook.com. You should see that the IP address returned is 127.0.0.1. Now open your web browser and go to facebook.com. It might still load. That's because Facebook's real IP may still be sitting in the browser cache and the browser will use that IP first. Delete your browser's cache and try Facebook again. You should now see an error page. See you next time.